Hey, in this video, I'll be showing you a clip of a mentor session I recently did with one of the students in my Roots Technology Coding and Career Prep program, helping him prepare for an interview for a software developer role. Now, the question that we're going over in this clip is, what's your greatest weakness? What is your greatest weakness is a common interview question that I see a lot of people get wrong in the interview process, and my job as a mentor is to make sure my students are well prepared to answer questions like this when they start interviewing for tech roles. But this question isn't just for tech roles, so definitely stay tuned even if you're not in tech. And if you're new here, my name is TJ, and I'm a self-taught software engineer that helps beginners like yourself learn to code, and I also help them prepare for the job search. The student you'll see in this clip is a correctional officer with a wife and three kids, and he got a job as a software developer before even finishing the program. So this clip that you're about to watch from our interview practice was right before his final interview and him ultimately being offered a role as a software developer. So if you're interested in learning to code in a flexible self-paced coding program and working with a mentor to help you on your coding journey, definitely check out Roots Technology to learn more. And if you haven't already, help support my page by subscribing to my channel and liking this video. And also comment below if you found this interview clip helpful. And make sure you watch this video all the way until the end because after the clip of my session with the student, I'll be sharing more insights on how to answer questions in the interview process. Good job. Good job on that. Uh, so can you, uh, what is your, one of your greatest weaknesses? Um, I would say just probably, probably like not, I'm not as much of a, maybe a people person. So like I, I'm better at like just kind of getting to the job and working. I get along with everybody, but I'm not like a, like a extremely social person. So um, I guess just part of being like an introvert, but um, and like public speaking, I guess, which is like everybody's pretty much. But uh, right. um, I certainly can do those. I can, I can speak out loud if I have to, but I think I could work on, I can improve on it. And then also just like, uh, um being more social all around i could i could definitely work on that um sometimes i kind of just get in my own my own zone and work and like don't ignore people or anything like that but i could just use some improvement just because i think i'm just kind of who i am i'm an introvert so yeah but all right so uh love you taylor but i would not say that i was just thinking that <laughs> huh I was just thinking that I probably should like, say do that. Not. Like you, you were talking. I was like, uh, yeah, no. You know what I'm saying? Like that. So yeah. Uh, anytime someone asks you what your weakness is, never actually tell them a weakness. Never, yeah. never tell, ever tell them something bad. And especially when you're trying to get a job, don't don't say like basically almost every single question in the interview is this is the opportunity for you to sell yourself. The answer you just gave wasn't a reason for me to pick you it was a reason for me not to pick you okay. you, get, you get what i'm saying so ne never give people a reason not to pick you always give people a reason to pick you so when someone asks you for your for, for your weakness don't ever don't even repeat the word weakness you know say uh yeah so you know honestly something that i that i would like to improve on or something that i would like to get more experience in Right, like that. That's how you know you should actually, you know, frame that. Ne never use the word weakness back. And the way that I will start is, you know, talk about yeah, you know. So I really enjoy front end web dev, but I would love to get more experience with back end web development. And, you know, which is why I'm really excited about this role. I know, you know, that that's that's something I get the opportunity to actually touch on as well. Da -da -da -da. You know what I'm saying? So it's like okay. indirectly, what you're saying is. Oh, I'm not as strong in back end, but instead of saying it like that, you're saying, "Hey, I'm strong in A, and I like A, but I also want to get more experience in B." Right? So okay. the, the thing, like that, is you giving me a reason to hire you and to bring you on because I'm saying, "Okay," like even though I asked him about weakness, matter of fact, I forgot I even asked you about your weakness, right? Because the you know the way that you answered it is you talking about your strengths again, but indirectly answering my question but still directly really just answer my question you know so yeah that's okay that is that that is something that you always want to be mindful and be careful of uh 
don't ever fall for that trap of what your weakness is. Um, Cause yeah, like uh, companies are not your friends. <laughs> companies are not your family. They, uh, and I, I'm not saying to lie. I'm just saying that, you know, like at times, like, especially in this, in this interview process, uh, your goal is to sell yourself uh, and to always put your best foot forward. And in terms of engineering, uh, engineering, engineers work on a team. So uh, people skills and, you know, being able to interact and engage with people, those are all very important things. So that's why you never want to say, oh, my weakness is people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you, you do not want to say that. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, hopefully you kind of like took some notes on that question in terms of how to kind of like think about answering that question. But yes, definitely. The main thing for every question, the main note to really just take and think about for every question is whatever question they ask you, it's an opportunity for you to sell yourself. Okay. So whenever someone asks you what your greatest weakness is during a job interview, don't even think about the term weakness. No, reframe that question in your mind as what would you like to get more experience with? Because that's ultimately how you should be thinking about it and how you should answer that question as well. So if I'm interviewing for a role as a front end web developer, I could answer the question, what's my greatest weakness by saying something like, so I really enjoy front end web development, but something I want to get more experience with is back end web development, which is why I'm really excited about this role because it lets me continue building on my front end skills while learning more about the back end. Now, do you see how that answer is a lot different from what the student initially answered, right? Like, I don't want negative words to be associated with me during the interview process, so I don't even say the term weakness. I just rephrase the question entirely. Now, if we break down my response, you'll see that I started off by opening with what I'm good at and using that to lead into what I want to get more experience with and reminding the people interviewing me that I'm excited about the job because it's a good fit for both of us. And if you need help finding something you want to improve on or get more experience with, just look at the job description and I'm sure you find something there that you haven't worked with before or that you don't have any experience with. So just use that and always keep your answers relevant to the actual job you're interviewing for. And the last thing I tell you, like I tell my students when we're prepping for interviews, every question in the interview process is an opportunity for you to sell yourself and make the case for why you are the best fit for this job, period. So don't get carried away, stay on task, and always put your best foot forward when answering each question. Now, if me and this student hadn't practiced this question, there's a chance he wouldn't have gotten this job because he was asked this exact question in the final interview. And instead of answering it the way he did earlier in this video, he took my feedback and used the approach I recommended which ultimately led to him having a great interview and being offered the job of software developer. So if you're interested in learning to code with a mentor in a heavily project-based program to make sure you get the hands-on experience of building websites and applications from scratch and having a mentor to help prepare you for tech interviews, definitely check out the Roots Technology Coding and Career Prep Program and kick off your coding journey with me as your mentor. In the meantime, stay tuned for more helpful videos like this by subscribing to my channel and liking this video. And comment down below to let me know if you found this video helpful.